Okay, this is just a really, really quick video. Um, the topic of this video is removing the stock heat spreaders from uh, RAM. I imagine that you could use this technique on any RAM stick, however the ones that I've got in particular this time happen to be the G-Skill RipDraw Z. Um, now the purpose of removing it obviously is to replace them. In this case I'm replacing them with uh, EK Dominator heat spreaders so that I can just put this water block on which is totally unjustifiable in terms of um, anything other than the fact that it looks extremely sexy. Um, I never actually made a video before so you're just going to have to bear with me. When I search for information and techniques and stuff on how to do this unfortunately there wasn't very much out there. Um, the easiest way that I found after doing uh, this will be the eighth stick that I've done was simply just to use one of these. This is a ruler. You may find these anywhere you like. Probably you have one lying at, at, around at home. On this particular ruler there is a slight angle at the very edge um, which is coming quite handy. Um, aside from that, the jet lighter. Um, now, on this particular ram stick what we're going to do is stick the ruler in that little gap that you can see there between the circuit board or whatever you want to call it and the metal heat spread a bit. Now this, in this case in particular, as you can see here, there's a little chip thing. I don't actually know what that's called. What I do know though is that's going to hit when you try and stick the ruler in there. Okay, so we're going to do the other side first. It's important that you obviously, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but if you don't check on the RAM sticks that you're using, that your ruler is going to hit shit like that, you're just going to fuck your RAM up. So don't do that. Anyway, on this side, as you can see, there's the little hole there. First thing I'm going to do is grab my trusty ruler, slide it in. Slide it into the, just slide it in, guys. Just slide it in. <laughs> As you can see, if I can get a better angle, that is between the black heat spreader and the actual circuit board. Um, so now, if you can grip it like this in your palm, pull down with your fingers and squeeze the ruler with your the butt of your I don't know what you want to call it, the heel of your palm. What that creates is an upwards pressure. So this is actually forcing, using the angle of the ruler, it's forcing this heat spreader up. So really, be careful not to burn your fingers because this shit gets really hot. That's pretty it, pretty much it. All you've got to do from now on in is hold this position and um, heat the actual heat spreader up until you start to hear um, that sticky shit that holds the heat spreader in place start to peel off. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, I can hear it starting to peel off now. This is a pretty delicate process, this part. Just maintain even pressure. I don't know if you can see that. It's just going to slide right up now. Should just slide straight up. There we go. Bang. Perfect. So the ruler creates even pressure upwards in every direction. Uh, when I was looking around, there were tutorials of people using like knives and Stanley knives and all this shit that I just wasn't willing to use because I did fear of somehow scratching it or fucking up or whatever. So. As you can see, we've got one side off. That was easy. Now to the other side. So as I mentioned before, there's at the very edge of the ruler, oh, I'll try to get it in focus. That little nodule there, I don't know what that is. So what I've opted to do is just stick the ruler in that half. It's just stuck in the first half there. Literally, just blow torch it for a little bit until it peels off a little bit. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. 
but it's peeled up a bit. Lift the ruler out and stick it back in the full length. And you literally, as you can see, the circuit the circuitry is on that side. You literally just pinch and the ruler will slide that plate off. Even pressure from every direction. And the thing literally pops out into your hands just like that. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Perfect. There you go. So I hope that helped. And in the meantime, you can check out my rig.